Hi everyone and welcome back to some more Terror from the Deep. So, let's continue where we left off. And we have a choice now, we can either go for weapon research or for armor research. And I think it's best if we get armor first, so that our soldiers won't die instantly the moment something hits them. And in order to get armor we need to do Deep One Autopsy. That will unlock the aqua plastics and researching aqua plastics will unlock the first armor. So that's exactly what we'll do. Also, the month is almost over, which means we'll get more funds. Looking forward to it. And we got some more soldiers. Are they actually any good? Let's have a look. Well, they are kind of average. They aren't terrible. 50 and 52 firing accuracy. Alright, that's fine. Let's check our Triton really quick. Yeah, looks fine. Do we need to buy more ammunition? We are okay for now, but it might be a good idea to buy some more high explosive bolts. You know, just in advance. Let's just buy a few in advance. Let's have a look. Oh, and how about torpedoes? I think we have enough. Alright. Do we need more launchers? Let's check our submarines. We should switch... no, not that. I think we should switch to long-range weapons only. But we can try to go with one long-range, one medium-range for now. Alright, and we should probably sell the gas cannons. Because we won't be using those, that's for sure. And anything else? Let's have a look. We won't be needing AP bolts, we can sell those. And let's buy some high explosive bolts. Yep. That will do. They are cheap. We might as well buy some more. And maybe a few more grenades. Alright. Good enough. That's 15,000. Alright, let's continue then. And there's the autopsy. So now we can research aqua plastics. And once we're done researching aqua plastics, we'll be able to research first armor. And the month is over. Everyone is happy with our progress. And this also gives us more funds. And we could use those to start a second base. Because in original XCOMs, in case you weren't aware, you could have multiple bases. Not only that, you should have multiple bases. It would be a good idea to start one on the Pacific. How much will that cost us? Let's say around here, perhaps? 600k, that's not too bad. Alright, let's do it. Pacific HQ 1. Alright then. And we'll build a few facilities right away. We definitely need a submarine pen. We also need general stores, living quarters, and the sonar. Now, we could build a wide array sonar, which is not a bad idea. 800k. Okay. Let's wait with living quarters for now. We'll finish general stores first. And I don't want to spend too much money on this. Alright, carry on. And we finished the medkits. So, let's build a few more and sell them. Because we're about to get aqua plastics. And we can actually manufacture aqua plastics. And also load them from alien submarines. And we got general stores already. Right, so living quarters would cost us 400k. That's probably fine. Alright, we'll build that. There are the medkits. We should be done with the research in a few days. Okay, 24,000 profit. Oh, another terror attack. Alright then. I'm not too happy about that. 
Well, I guess we should do it, but before we do that... Let's pass some time, because I don't want to do a night terror mission. At the same time, we can't wait too long, because it will just go away. If we wait too long... And let's check our submarine really quick. The Triton. We have enough people. That's 10 soldiers. I suppose we could grab more if we really want to. 12? Fine, we can get 12. I assume we have enough weapons for everyone. We got 9 jet harpoons. We got 3 gas cannons. Yeah, so that's 12. That's enough. More grenades. Okay. And medkits. We got medkits already. Alright, looks good. So, let's do it. Yeah, let's not push it too much. I wouldn't want it to disappear. Alright, off you go. We'll be fine, I think. Yes, just barely. Alright, let's do that then. Now, let's check our equipment on everyone. Do we want to use a third gas cannon? Wait, hold on. Does everyone have a weapon? Right now? No. You should grab a gas cannon. And we probably want a few medkits. So... Medkits. We can control click to move it to our belt quickly. Alright, this seems reasonable. A few more grenades, perhaps? They might come in handy. Alright. Not for you, maybe. You can grab one grenade. Alright, this looks reasonable. Do we need extra ammunition on that guy with the gas cannon? Where was he? No, they all have extra ammunition. Yep. Okay, but let's go then. This should be fun. Now, before we open, let's actually wait one turn. We'll let the aliens move. Yeah, this is going to be a lot of aliens. The previous terror mission had 14 aliens. So I assume it will also be the case here. Or that we'll get roughly the same number. Oh, yep, here's the first one. He doesn't seem to have a weapon. Actually, no, I think he has a pistol or something like that. Well, let's try to take a shot right away. We got 62%. We got him, I think. Yep, he's dead. Nice. That's a pretty good start, I would say. Now, let's look around in all directions. Wait, what? Okay, we got one guy over here. Well, you know what I'm going to do. Use auto shot. There, he's down. Two aliens down on the first turn. Well, technically, it's the second turn. But first turn we actually used. So the zone wall is right here. But there might still be an alien or two hiding in this general area. Yep, we can see something. Right here, that's the deep one. We can take an aimed shot if we don't kneel. Let's try. Okay, we hit him. But can we actually kill him? That's the question. Yeah, we can take another aimed shot with this guy. We'll have enough action points left. Nope. Not good enough. Okay, who else can take a shot? We just need one more hit, I think. Yeah, that was just terrible. Not happy about that. Well, alright. I think we're kind of out of options. We could try a grenade. What's your throwing accuracy? 69. That's not too bad. I'm not sure if we can throw it that far, but I guess we can try at least. Yeah, that actually worked. Better than I expected. Alright. I think that will kill it. At least, it really should. Let's move our other guys a little bit closer. 
Hopefully this will be the last mission we do without any kind of armor. We need armor at least for our best soldiers. Here, it's dead. Nice. So, three aliens down. Probably like 11 more to go. Explosions! Yeah, that's pretty normal. That's going to be a lot of dead civilians. And we already got one dead Aquanaut. Well, alright. I'm not quite sure who that was exactly. I think there's something pretty close to our submarine on the left side. But I would also like to kill this thing over here. Alright, nice. Not quite enough to kill it, but... It's a direct hit, I'll take it. 49%. Nope. And you? Pete. Come on, Pete. Yeah, that wasn't even remotely close. Not happy about that. Yep, that didn't do much. Hey, it killed something in the back. <laughs> okay, unexpected kill, the best kind of kill. So, one more. This is our last chance, I think. We got it, no, we didn't. I mean, we hit it, but we didn't get a kill. Huh. Well, alright. We can still take a shot. A snapshot, at least. It's better than nothing. No line of fire, seriously? Oh, this crate over here is blocking our line of fire, really? Yes, really. Alright. We could always try another grenade. But we need someone with good throwing accuracy. Who has good throwing accuracy? 74, yeah, that's pretty good. We could try with this guy. Let's give it a shot, just make sure we have enough time units. We need 45. Yep, no, this is not enough. Okay. Maybe one more shot. Nice, we got it. Now, there are definitely aliens over here on the other side of the sub. Which makes me a little bit nervous. There's a pretty good chance someone will die during the alien turn. But oh well, we did what we could. Let's maybe try to spread out a little. Okay, moment of truth. Please don't kill us, thanks. I think they are too focused on killing civilians. Judging from the screams. Okay, we are fine. But be careful, there are definitely aliens just around the corner. Yep, right here, basically right next to us. How about we throw a grenade at this dude? That seems reasonable. Okay, that might not kill him, however. Let's try to hit him once. Okay, I'll let the grenade kill him. Let's see, okay, we could try to shoot this guy. We do have aimed shot, but we won't be able to kneel after taking the aimed shot. We could also just hide. Honestly, I think that's a better option, just hide over here. That's what we'll do. Alright, looks clear on this side so far. And we'll face in this general direction. Maybe we'll get a chance to get some reaction shots, that's always a possibility. And we could set up for a snipe with someone. All the way back here. Yeah, we could do that. Okay, good enough. He's dead. Actually, no, he's not dead. He's just unconscious. Okay. He might get up at some point. We need to be careful about that. We could finish him off with another grenade, that's a possibility. But right now, I want to kill these guys in the back. That's the priority at the moment. So let's take a shot from back here first. 64%. Nice. Not enough for a kill, but it's a direct hit, I'll take it. Alright, another one. 
Nice. Still not enough for a kill, unfortunately. Okay, then. One more. Seems fairly unlikely that we'll hit three times in a row. Especially with snapshot now. Hey, we actually did! Good job, people. Let's maybe check the other side of the sub. And we might be able to get a flank. There are still like 10 aliens remaining. So we need to be careful and watch all sides. Let's get everyone out of the sub. So who is this dead right here? Oh, it doesn't say. I thought we'll see a name, not just corpse. Alright, I guess we'll find out once the mission is over. Now, we know there are more aliens right here, behind the sub. Which is why I'm trying to be careful. If we can reveal them, we could throw a grenade. So, let's see. We'll take a peek. Can't see anything just yet. Okay. Yeah, this makes me a little bit nervous. Anyone? Okay, there's the deep one. We could try to kill it. Do we have line of sight through the window? Oh, damn it! That was bad. Do you need healing? Fortunately, he's not dead, but that was very unfortunate. Who has the medkits? Yeah, we might want to use the medkit because I don't want to risk him getting killed. Okay, how did this work exactly? Uh, okay. Hold on, how on earth did this actually work? What? I thought he can just heal the guy in front of him. But what do we actually do with this? I think we need to hand this to the other guy. I'm honestly not sure at this point. It's been too long, okay? Let's pick it up with the other guy then. Here, a medkit for you. Okay. That's not how it worked. I'm confused now. Now it's not enough time units. Alright. Well, let's just kneel. Can we still do anything about that alien in the back? Would be nice. We can at least try. Alright, let's try then. I think we got line of sight from here. Or line of fire. Apparently it's not the same thing. We do, but we missed terribly. It wasn't even remotely close. Hey, that actually hit. Surprisingly enough. Alright. We got one more snapshot, possibly. Is that a different alien here? No, that's the same one. That was pretty close. Alright, I don't think we'll get any more shots. No, we won't. Alright, next turn. They are shooting in our general direction. Now, what about that medkit? Right arm. What the heck do we do with this? Painkiller, stimulant... Oh, there we go, heal. Right, okay. So I guess that's that? He's fine now. Back to killing aliens! Might want to kill this stupid thing before we move forward. Just try to not hit our own soldiers anymore. Come on, we just need one more direct hit. That should do it. Apparently that's hard. Well, alright. Let's try with something explosive. Not quite what I had in mind. 
We got maybe one more. But that's about it. That's the last shot. Yeah, that killed it. Nice. Multiple explosions are one of the most awesome parts of this game, by the way. You can trigger massive chain explosions later in the game. Or on some types of maps, it doesn't really matter what stage of the game it is. And sometimes you need to be really careful, too, if you're standing next to something explosive. If you think it's bad in the modern XCOM sometimes, it's much worse here. Oh, hi, we got a visitor. Fancy seeing you here. Well, let's not use anything explosive just yet. But I don't want to hit my own people, you know. Step slightly to the side. One point short. Yeah, I think we'll have to use something explosive. Maybe take a step away from him. There. He's dead. That's the guy who was incapacitated earlier. Like I said, he wasn't dead. He was just unconscious. This is going quite well so far. Now, I'm not sure how many aliens we still got. But I'm going to assume at least seven or eight. I'm not counting how many we killed. Alright, let's take a step forward back here. There were some aliens inside the building. Okay, not seeing them right now. We can open the door. Maybe on the next turn, you know. Move towards it. Okay, we can open the door on the next turn. And one more guy. Alright. Looks good. Spread out a little bit. Maybe have someone cover this direction. We don't want anything to surprise us. That would be pretty bad. Hide behind the building. Use the crate as cover-ish. And yeah, spread out a little bit. Next to the building. Yep, we found something. Inside the building. Okay. Let's see if we can kill that guy. We might be able to. We can shoot the wall. Like this. Okay. That will give us slightly better line of sight. Nice, we got him. I love this weapon. Spread out some more. We only lost one Aquanaut so far. That's promising. Then again, that was also the case in our previous missions. <laughs> we didn't lose people until later. Okay, we know there's a deep one in here. But we can't actually see it right now. Yeah, I don't think we'll be able to see it. Alright. Let's wait outside with reaction shots then. And open the door. Anything in here? Yep, there is one guy over there. Let's see if we can kill him. We could throw a grenade at him. That's not a bad idea. Especially since we already have one equipped. And it should make the barrels blow up, I think. Unable to throw here, really. Well, yeah, kind of. The door is closed. There we go. That might actually kill him. It should cause a chain explosion. And if it doesn't kill him, we'll get him on the next turn, I guess. That's the plan. Okay, here it comes. Now we didn't kill him. But he should be wounded, I think. Yeah, now we can't see much of anything. Right. This is a little bit tense. <laughs> because you can die so easily. And some of these people already have promotions. Some of them have pretty good stats. I don't really want to lose them. Alright, looks clear over here. One more person in this direction. 
Okay, there he is. He missed twice. Nice. And we got him. Okay, how many aliens is that? No idea. But I hope we are close to done. Looks mostly clear in here. Let's check that side room over here. They can be pretty much anywhere at this point. Including various side rooms. Sometimes they are in a really awkward spot. And it's pretty easy to get surprised. This is going to be a lot of dead civilians. But oh well. Keeping our soldiers alive is a little bit more important. Okay, I saw something for like a split second. But I didn't see where exactly that was. Okay then. I think it was around this building again. This stupid building. Alright, let's move into the smoke. That should help a little bit. I'm pretty sure any kind of smoke counts. Oh yeah, we see it. Oh, that's the deep one, right. Okay, can we kill it? Let's try. No, not quite good enough, but it will give us slightly better line of sight. Okay, good, we got line of fire. It might be better to just throw a grenade once you're throwing accuracy. 80, okay, that's really good. Let's just throw a grenade, I like that idea. Good enough. And I would like to take a shot, but I don't want to hit our own people. Let's have a look. Can anyone else take a shot? Sort of, but not really. Yeah, we can't hit it like this. We'll just let the grenade blow up. I don't think we can do much else. Okay, this room is clear, that's good. Let's keep moving. No line of sight from here, obviously. Alright, hopefully the grenade will kill it. Fingers crossed. Now it did not. But it's not attacking us, it's just standing there, which is a bit strange. But okay. It's down. I don't think that was the last enemy. Was it? No, it was not. There's one more somewhere. It could be in a really weird spot, like over here. On that tower, inside the building. We don't really know. It can be anywhere. And we don't really want it to find us. Especially not the hard way. We'll just keep looking. At least it's not a night mission. Night missions are just death. That's what they are. They are bad. It's best to avoid them as much as we can. I'm thinking they might be around that tower on the left. So let's maybe move in that general direction. Nothing so far. They might also be in the back of the map. That's certainly a possibility. Looks clear so far. Let's just be careful. Still nothing. Clear over here as well. Let's send more than one person in this direction. In case there are actually aliens somewhere over here. There could be one inside this building, for example. There's a pretty good chance there's something in there. Oh, hold on, we saw something, damn it. I ended my turn a little bit too fast. Well, we got him. Alright, but we aren't done yet. We had to kill at least 10 aliens at this point, I think. No idea, I'm not counting. But I'm pretty sure it was at least 10.
I'm thinking maybe two or three more. Okay, still nothing. Let's keep moving. Don't get killed, people. That's an order. And you there. Go help. Still nothing. Maybe move towards that building on the left. Okay. And check the other side, though. And keep covering the tower. In case there's something hiding inside. Oh, what? Seriously now? You killed our own guy. Well, that was a bit of a strange ending. But okay. Not too happy about that, but we only lost two Aquanauts. It could have been much worse. Let's check our roster real quick. We got one lieutenant. We got like six able Siemens. And what about firing accuracy? Let's see. How many people do we have with at least 60 firing accuracy? That's one. Two. Three. I think that's it. 59 on one of our fresh recruits. 67, so that's four. Yeah, that's it. So we got four people with at least 60 accuracy and one with 59. All right. And there we go, aqua plastics. So now we can research plastic aqua armor. Where is that? It should be on the list. We did just unlock it. Yeah, there it is. Hopefully it won't take too long. And we can manufacture some aqua plastics while we wait. Let's finish the medkits first. So, aqua plastics. We should already have some from the submarines, but more is always good. It might also be a good idea to recruit a few more technicians. Although, maybe we should wait until the next month, because we will be spending quite a lot of money on our base. There we go, aqua plastics. Let's get some more while we wait for the research. We can always stop production anytime we want. Subpen is done. Okay then. So a Barracuda is 600k. How long do we have to wait? Oh, the month is almost over. Okay. Let's just buy a sub then. So Barracuda, long range missile launchers and some torpedoes. Let's say, I don't know, 16 torpedoes, 20 torpedoes. That will cost us 800k. Alright, that's all we need in this base for now. That's the bare minimum. It has the sonar and it will have one sub. And there we go, we finished aqua armor research. Now we can go for weapons. We could research sonic weapons right away, but the thing is, they require the materials that we can't manufacture ourselves. We need to load them from the aliens. This thing over here. So, it might be a good idea to just research Gauss weapons. It won't take very long. It should be quick. And getting a few Gauss rifles would definitely be a good idea. And let's start making some armor. We'll stop our existing production. We got 58 available, alright, so we'll manufacture 10 suits. And that's going to be the end of this episode, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.